Well, during African American Heritage Month, we're highlighting some organizations in the South LA community that have not only impacted LA's past, but continue to impact our present. One group is the controversial Black Panthers. While some call them heroes, others call them extremists, as armed citizen patrols clashed with law enforcement, leading to bloody confrontations with police in cities nationwide, LA included, though this piece of history is often overlooked. Gil Reyes, shine some light. December 1969 a bloody five-hour shootout between LAPD SWAT officers and the LA chapter of the Black Panthers erupted on 41st Street and Central Avenue at the Panthers' LA headquarters. Surprisingly, no one was killed, and perhaps even more shocking, no Panthers were convicted. Because it was their constitutional right to be in this building here and conduct their, uh, their business, and it was not the right of the police to come inside and ambush them without identifying themselves at all. Filmmaker Gregory Everett returns to the scene of the violence, now a parking lot, to plug his film, 41st and Central, the untold history of the L.A. Black Panthers. The Black Panthers, an armed socialist group, got its start in Oakland, California, to challenge police brutality and create programs for underserved communities like free breakfast for children. But they were also at constant odds with the FBI and local police. L.A.'s chapter was their biggest, and more Panthers from Southern California were killed fighting for their causes than in any other region. Whether it was actually their physical life or their life in jail, you know what I mean, to just be able to fight and protect, you know, people like me. L.A. artist Enkwani pays tribute to L.A. chapter founder Alprentis Bunchy Carter. He and another Panther leader were assassinated on the UCLA campus by political rivals in 1969. There's also this tribute to Geronimo Pratt, Panther leader and godfather to murdered hip-hop artist Tupac Shakur. These local figures are documented in Everett's film, which has the full support of L.A. City Council member Curran Price, despite its controversial stance against alleged police abuse. So Curran is a very brave person to realize how important it is and to assist us in getting the word out and making sure that the legacy of the Black Panther Party here in Los Angeles is not forgotten. And LA City Council member Curran Price could be pulling even more strings to keep the memory of the LA Black Panthers alive, planning some sort of dedication ceremony here on 41st and Central somewhere down the road. Reporting from South LA, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The film occasionally screens at UCLA and remains on the festival circuit. Find out more at 41central.com.